Welcome to another awesome course from Spartan Design University. In this course, you will learn to create your own side-by-side -side videos for Google Cardboard and other similar smartphone viewers. So what is Google Cardboard? Google Cardboard is a virtual reality platform developed by Google for use with a fold-out cardboard mount for a mobile phone. It is intended as a low-cost system to encourage interest and development in VR applications. What is a side-by-side -side 3D video? It is a movie that has two videos showing at the same time. The cardboard allows you to isolate the two sides so the left eye sees only the left side and the right eye sees only the right side. These videos can be created in 3D software, as in this roller coaster example, or created using two cameras, as in this beachfront resort example. In order to make a professional video, you need two cameras with a fixed focal length, manual aperture, manual shutter, and a mount that allows you to position your two cameras side by side so that you can get the same effect as looking at the scene using your two eyes, which are about two and a half inches apart. For the rest of us, there's a simple solution which I will show you. It involves two pieces of cardboard, two matching smartphones with cameras, a bunch of rubber bands, and a video editing program like Adobe Premiere. The first thing I did was to cut two pieces of cardboard 11 inches long, which is the length of two iPhones. One piece was an inch and a quarter wide, and the second piece was two and a quarter wide. Fold the narrow one so it wraps over the top of your phone. Fold the larger one so it also wraps over the end of your phone. The larger one provides additional stability to your camera rig. Notice that the phone camera is not covered by the cardboard. If the camera on your phone is centered, then you should use two pieces of cardboard that are each about an inch and three quarter wide. Now we bind the two cameras together so they cannot move. This is absolutely important. As you can see, I use rubber bands to accomplish this task. Remember not to cover the record buttons on your cameras. Here's what it looks like from the end. Here's what the back looks like. Notice that I had to notch the cardboard so the camera lenses are not covered. Since we are working with a phone camera, there are some limitations we have to work with. Shooting outside where there is plenty of light will give you much better results. Moving the camera slowly will help prevent your users from getting too sick. Your first shot should be a slate that identifies the left camera and the right camera. I'll show you this when we edit our videos. You must also slate so that both cameras can see your fingers. This is essential to syncing the videos later on. Hold the camera rig with one hand and press the start button on each camera. Don't worry that one starts before the other one as we will sync them up later in our video editing software. Point your running cameras at the piece of paper that has an L and an R indicator. Pinch your fingers quickly together so that both cameras can see your slate. So here you can see me walking around my house shooting a 3D side-by-side -side video for Google Cardboard using my cardboard rig. Now let's download the videos from both phones to our computer and create our side-by-side -side 3D video. Here on my desktop, I've downloaded both videos from each of my phones. If I open the top one, you can see that this one was the left camera. So I'm going to rename that left. This one should have the R showing, so we'll rename that one right. Now that we have properly labeled the left camera and the right camera, I'm going to open up a brand new Premiere project. And I'm going to drag both videos into my project bin. Then we're going to do a new sequence. We'll call it phone test one. And we'll drag one of these videos down and change the sequence settings to match our phone. So here's the left video. I can scrub through it. Notice right about here I have my slate. So let's double click this and let's find that exact point where my fingers touch. See how it's blurry? It's blurry and there they are touching and they're clear. So let's hit M on the keyboard. That'll put a little green mark 
So now the left one is synced. Let's open the right one. I'll scrub it here quickly. Oh, there it went. There's the crisp shot of my fingers touching. So we'll mark that video with an M. And we'll drag it down as well. Now the audio for this is not important. So I'm just going to delete it. All I care about right now is the video. I'm going to make these a little bit taller. So now what I want to do is line up this marker on the right with this marker on the left. And Adobe Premiere allows me to snap those. Boom. You can see the bottom one is black. That means it's lined up perfectly with the top. So now these videos are exactly in sync. What I need to do now is put the left video on the left side and the right video on the right side. Now that my videos are perfectly synced, I'm going to take the left video and position it on the left side. So double click it to open up here and then click the effects controls. Let's go all the way back to the beginning of the video and change the scale to 49%. That'll give me a slight gap here between the two of 2%. I can adjust this. It starts out in the center. I can move it back so that it touches the left side right there. Now let's open the right video. Effect controls all the way back to the beginning. Scale at 49%. Notice it's in the middle. Once again, we'll use the first indicator here on position to move it over to the right. So it touches right there. Now we should have the left and the right side by side. And as we move around, we've got a stereoscope video ready to go. So here we have phone test one, which contains the left and right. I don't want to edit these individually because there's a chance they'll get out of sync. So I'm going to actually edit the project. Let me create a new sequence called combined. And into the combined sequence, I'll drag the phone test one. So now my videos are synced. So come back here, zoom in a little bit. I play this. You can see I start the right camera, then I start the left camera. They're pointed at the piece of paper. You can see the slate there. And if I back it up, you can see that they are exactly in sync. So both cameras are now synced. I don't want that in my video. Actually, I don't want to start my video until I start looking at something interesting, which is over here. So I'm going to take my razor blade, chop it, get rid of that front part, and now I'm starting my real presentation, which will start here. I wander through my living room, trying to be very slow about it. It's fun if you have objects in the foreground and objects in the background. It makes it a little bit more realistic. And we'll stop right there. We'll cut off the rest of this video. And we'll have a 30 second demo that we're creating. So I went and I grabbed a little piece of music here. Let's take that music down. Trim it off. So give our video just a little bit more interest. Grab the pen. Fade the video out at the end. And now here we have our project in Premiere. Now that's ready. We're ready to file, export, media. Under our presets, we'll choose YouTube 1080p. Click export and wait for a minute. So that took a couple of minutes to export, and now I have on my desktop my combined project. And if I play it, you can see the left and the right eye, 
You can hear the music in the background. And you can notice that the perspective on the left and right eye is a little bit different. That's what gives us a three-dimensional video. Notice over here the couch ends about three quarters of an inch in from the edge of the frame. On the right side, it's actually touching the frame. So when our brain sees this image and this image, it melds them together and creates depth. And that's why this 3D stereo effect works. The only thing left to do is to grab your Google Cardboard, upload this to your iPhone, and try it out.